Hi guys, welcome to my garage. We are in here to check out the garage heater. Uh, not because of the heater itself, but because of this cable and how it's plugged in and the wiring. So this is plugged into a 30 amp, 240 volt uh, receptacle. Um, you'll recognize this plug here. It's the exact same plug as the AC, put, AC input 30 amp generator cable that Luetti sells, the one we saw before. Only difference between this one and the other one is this one utilizes both of the um, hots to run that heater up above. So, but we uh, won't, won't focus on the plug anymore. We're now gonna take a peek at the receptacles. So this is your 30 amp, 240 volt receptacle, the, the four prongs here that um, probably would be the easiest way to get the split phase or the two different phases from your grid uh, that is required to do split phase mode AC charging. Um, in the manual, it does specify, and it's not so clear, but it is actually in there, that says that the master must be ran off of phase, one phase, and the slave must be ran off the other phase. They both cannot be ran off the same phase. So in your 240 volt outlet here, you actually have both phases coming in. That's what actually makes that 240 volts. If you have a receptacle like this, which is your, this one's 20 amp, but a 15 amp or a 20 amp, nine times out of 10, this is gonna be one phase that's running all of this. Unless you specifically have both phase, uh, phases of wire running into here, and you specifically, let's say, put this outlet on one phase and this outlet on another phase, or you could have done the top part on one phase and the bottom on a different phase. Unless you did that, this is probably one phase. Now, does that mean that you can't use this outlet and maybe you have another outlet over there that's on a different phase? Yeah, possibly, but no matter if it's that type of outlet or this type of outlet, all I'm gonna show you how to validate uh, that you are running on two different phases on whatever outlets that you outlet or outlets that you're planning on using. So this is a uh, temperature controlled um, outlet. So we're gonna turn on the sub panel and then I'm also going to have to uh, turn on this thermostat to give uh, this outlet power. So I know this uh, outlets powered now because I actually have a uh, meter down here that tells me the, the specifications of what's happening with that uh, plug up there. And as you can see, this one's actually clearly saying it's 248 volts, aka 240 volts. So we're going to ignore that and we're still going to check it ourselves though. So on here, um, we know that this, actually let me grab one of my prongs. We know that uh, this L bracket here is your ground. Directly across from it is your neutral. This is a hot, this is a hot. One of these hots is one grid phase, the other one is a second grid phase. So these are completely opposite grid phases. One is 120 volts, this other one is 120 volts. This is what causes your 240 volts. It's two opposite uh, sides, sides of the grid phase. Now, we can use a voltmeter to actually check this you want to go ahead and go to your volts, I'm sorry, your, your uh, AC, which is the V with the squiggly line under it representing the alternating current. Um, one note here is if you have a digital monitor, it's probably capable of doing auto uh, sensing for voltage. If you have a manual meter, make sure you have it set to uh, above 240 volts for your testing or you may blow the internal fuse. Uh, I might have to replace that. So let's uh, double check that before you, you move forward. Um, on here, uh, you can go ahead and see, well, you're seeing a little bit of a reading because every time I move this, these, uh, prongs or hit them against something, they're going to cause some level of voltage to be, um, uh, seen. So we're going to take this guy here. We're going to try to place him in here. So he hits that. Okay. So that's in the ground. And we're going to hopefully get some reading here. Okay. So we know from ground to one of the hots we have 120 volts, 124 volts, exactly, okay? Next, we're gonna go over to the other hot, and we also have 120 volts, okay? So we know that this one's 120 volts, this one's 120 volts. In order to check that if you are on different phases of your grid power, you're going to have to check a hot against a hot. So on here, we're gonna go, let me see if I can put this in here. Bear with me, it's hard to do this with one hand. 
So we're in one hot and we're gonna go in the second hot. Hopefully. Hold on, we're not all the way in. Still not all the way in. Bear with me, guys. There it goes. All right, so now you can see that we're 240 volts between the two hot leads here. This is two different phases. If I wasn't two different phases, I would get a much, much lower voltage. And I'll actually show you that on the 15 or 20 amp outlet over on the side. But this is two different uh, grid phases, okay? So we're gonna pull these out. And we're gonna go over to the 20 amp or 50 amp, I'm sorry, 15 amp receptacle. Let me get everything set up. And I'm sorry for the lights for flickering. I have uh, uh, motion sensing lights out here. All right, so what we had mentioned before is on the large prong here, this is usually your neutral, uh, nine times out of 10, unless somebody wired something wrong. So uh, from neutral on this uh, receptacle to the hot, okay, we're getting 120 volts, just like we saw on one of the hots on the 240. Then we're gonna go over to this guy. We also have 120 volts. Now, on the 240 volt over there, remember we did hot to hot to check to see if the uh, two hots were on different phases. So we know the small one are hots. So we're going to go over here to hot, and we're going to go over here to hot, okay? Now, look at my voltage. The voltage is really, really low. This means you're on the same phase of power, okay? You are not on different phases. Now, if I was to have these both in hots right here between these two different receptacles, and I was able to get 240 volt reading up there, I know I'm on two different grid phases, one for this outlet and one for this outlet. Or sometimes it depends on how, if there's a little pin here uh, on this receptacle that you have to break in order to separate the top and the bottom um, outlets here and I could wire this as one phase and the other phase. So you could check the hot between the top and the hot between the bottom to see if you got two different phases. So much like this, we'll just unplug this guy here. Put that guy in there. So we're now going hot against hot. And once again, we're not on different grid phases. So this clearly tells me here, I cannot utilize this outlet without either changes or uh, running an additional line here. Now, when I say running an additional line, it's not just necessarily going into your breaker and adding another, let's say, breaker. This, if these two breakers are on the same phase and these two are on the same phase, okay? So if I went to my breaker and I said, hey, you know, this guy's off, I wanna run this guy down here to my outlet and run a different breaker, and then I test the two uh, hots between these two, I still will be on the same phase. In order for me to be on two different phases, I would need one from this side, either one of these two and one from this side. That is why this 30 amp here, which is actually controlled by these two different breakers here, are bridged between these two breakers because this is phase one and this is phase two, okay? So just note that simply running a different circuit from a breaker into your outlet box doesn't necessarily give you two different phases. You will always have to check the two hots in between the two outlets to make sure you are getting 240 volts. I hope this helps with that part. Now, I'm gonna unplug this real quick because I'm gonna go to the next section real quick and I'm gonna explain why the 240 volt um, outlet here is ideal, at least for me. Okay, so I already have all the wiring here. This is how a 240 volt works. I actually wind up purchasing off of Amazon, and I'm sure you can get from many other places too, this cable here. So obviously this is an L14. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug this guy in. Okay, so he's plugged in. Right now I'm getting both hots. And if you notice that I come down here, I'll come over to the side. This is a Y adapter splitting off to two TT30 120 volt outlets. Now, I can probably assume that this guy is one, one phase and then this guy is one phase, but 
double checking it, you should probably check the hots between both of these to make sure that you're getting 240 volts between them and you're not getting 120 volts. Because if you do do that, you're obviously not meeting the requirement for split phase. But in addition, uh, if you try to plug in your one AC 300 here and a second AC 300 here, and you try pulling 30 amps from here and 30 amps from here, well, you actually just pulled 60 amps from one of the hots. Now you've just overloaded this and you're probably gonna pop this breaker. Versus if I pull 30 amps from one leg or one phase and 30 amps from a different phase, I haven't exceeded the uh, rating for each one of these phases and the, each one of these breakers here. So we're gonna quickly double check this real quick and let me grab the voltmeter again. Hopefully I don't drop anything. I'm gonna to attempt to lean this on here. So again, we're gonna go back to volts. I'm sorry, AC. All right, so this is not going to be an easy one with all of the balancing of cables and everything. As you can see, that thing's wobbling around. All right, so should be ground, hot, and neutral. I guess we'll find out here in a second if I'm correct. So we're gonna go. Okay, so we I am, so it's, I'm sorry, not, so this is ground down here, hot, and you're neutral. So now I'm gonna go from this receptacle here. Hopefully we can do this without dropping everything. Oops, one second. Okay, hold on guys, this is not, not working out so well for things not moving. Okay. So I'm between the two hots there, and as you can see there, I'm 240 volts. That clearly tells me that each one of these uh, uh, receptacles coming down are on different phases. So what I will be doing is changing my, let me turn this off so I don't drop it accidentally. I will be changing my Blue Eddy AC 30 amp generator cable from this L14, um, universal adapter, I'll be taking this off. I will be changing it to a TT30P, uh, which is a plug um, outlet, I'm sorry, uh, plug to go into this outlet here. Um, relatively easy to do. I talked about in the previous uh, video, paying attention to the white and the black are not as you expect them to be wired, which is exactly how I'm gonna have to do it on the TT30, is I'm gonna have to put the black to neutral and the white to hot so that I can plug it into here and then get one grid, uh, sorry, one phase of the power from the grid on this side and the other from the other uh, phase on this side. Um, this is how I'm gonna be doing it. I will take the next video that goes ahead and shows um, the connection change here and plugging it into both of these and running both of my units um, off of this Y adapter into a 30 amp, 240 volt receptacle.